Yes. Nah, if it isn't the old cookout on the college green. In this sketch, we'll see the students of Sketchy U prepare some proteinaceous amino acid filled meats while we cover how alpha amino acids are prepared in the lab. But before we chomp into all the juicy details, let's have a quick refresher on the structure of alpha amino acids. These molecules consist of a central alpha carbon, which is almost always chiral. Glycine is the exception, but don't worry about that for now. Anyways, the alpha carbon is bonded to a hydrogen, a carboxyl group, an amino group, and an R group. That's the side chain that determines the amino acid's identity. When scientists want to make these molecules in the lab, there are two main methods they use, the Strecker synthesis and the Gabriel synthesis. Thankfully, you don't need to worry about memorizing every single bond that breaks and forms during these processes. Instead, just focus on the overall idea of each synthesis. We'll start with the Strecker synthesis, which we've symbolized with this Stryker brand grill. This synthesis is a bit simpler and more elegant than the Gabriel process, which is why the Stryker grill is simple but sleek. This process starts with an aldehyde and ammonia reacting. So Al's hiding behind the grill with a bottle of ammonia cleaner. Stealth cleaning wouldn't be my first choice for extracurricular fun, but to each their own. Anyways, the ammonia in this first step usually comes from ammonium chloride salt. Then on the aldehyde, the identity of the R group determines the side chain of the amino acid and therefore which amino acid is ultimately made. Okay, so maybe Al needs a little more practice at stealth cleaning. Always look before you spray, kids. All the same, Al attacking himself with ammonia should help you remember that in the first step of the Strecker synthesis, ammonia attacks the aldehyde's carbonyl carbon to create an imine. See that I mind the grill apron on the guy next to Al? He may be weirdly possessive of his hot dog flipping responsibilities, but he's also a nice reminder of imines. <laughs> 